Open to announce a big fight very, very soon. Stay tuned to working hard in the gym, summertime ready, getting them abs out, or flabs, shall I say, for me. But then again, it, it helped me 33 <laughs> times in a row, so that don't really matter. Um, stay tuned. Big news imminent. What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, Tyson Fury came out in the last few days. <sighs> he came out... Well, you just heard him there, my 100%. Big fight coming. <clears throat> yeah? Getting rid of the old Dan the man in the back of his... <laughs> in the back of his sign that says 100%. Must must suck that back up. But listen, when you've been caning, like Tyson been caning, yeah? When you've been caning that Dan the man packet, at A1 Columbia, you best be... <clears throat> Big fight coming. <laughs> anyway, let's down topic here. Fury. A big fight's coming. Come on, people. I don't even want to listen. Truth be known, I ain't gonna lie to you. I could come on here and tell you that there's real news here. There's no news here. Yeah, the white bee is broke. <laughs> you must talk about this. You must talk about 100%. But yeah, I mean, big news coming. This came out three days ago. Three days later, there's silence. He ain't saying nothing. In fact, I did peep something on Michael Benson's thing. Fury was waffling. In fact, you know what? Let's get it up now. Just on principle. And before you catch your man, why be slipping with some pornos again? 100%. Let's get this up. Because Fury, he was on some next, shilling some next crypto thing. There it is here. Oh, yeah. Tyson Fury speaking profoundly today as he opens up on why he, like other great boxing champions of the past, will struggle to walk away from boxing. All due respect, Tyson, you've already walked away. <laughs> what are we do? Why? Who are you lying to? Yeah, your resume has walked away. Listen, there's two things in UK boxing that have walked off and are unlikely to be found again. Number one, Anthony Joshua's head. He's lost it. It's gone. Ain't coming back. And number two, Tyson Fury's resume. Yeah. Or better yet, yeah, his resume is lost. It's gone. Will he find it again? Pure speculation. I've got a video coming soon. John Fury came out in the last few days. Ho, ho, <laughs> huffing, and, <laughs> huffing and puffing. Yeah. What was it? Yeah, my son. Usyk, my son will never fight Usyk unless he apologises to him. Where do they, where do they find these guys at? It's, it's mad. Proper mad. And he also went in on Sugar Hill again. So, there's nothing. There's no... Not that I need class. Boxing, for the most part, isn't a classy sport. We don't need class. Look at Tiffy Lopez, for example. When I say class, I mean people... <laughs> hoity toity and Yeah? What we need is action. That's what we need. I mean, Tommy Fury is another clown. Tommy Fury comes out, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna take out the whole YouTube boxing game. Yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm different to YouTube boxers. I'm boxing at a world championship level. Honestly, the, the, scientists now in the NFL, they've got or any head damage, but particularly in the NFL, they have something called what's it called? What's that brain damage you've got? Anyway, the point I'm making is, NFL players they get a certain type of brain damage, and it kind of wilts their brain away. And the only, apparently the only way you can study this is post-mortem after, or after they're dead. Once they're dead, they take their brain out and analyse it and whatnot. There's been some mad old, old school NFL players who have kind of lost their head and they've committed suicide. But in a way, one guy, I forgot his name, he was, I think he was Hawaiian or one of them ones. And he shot himself in the chest and wrote, wrote a note saying, look at my brain kind of thing. He knew he was bugging. I salute that. Do you know anyone's there? Where I'm going with this is, CTE, that's it, CTE. Where I'm going with this is, yeah, scientists out there, never mind CTE, scientists need to study what, um, what, it, what, what, you know what I mean, what's eating away at Tyson Fury, John Fury, and Tommy Fury's brain. Because it's not the headshots. I'll tell you what, it's not the headshots. Tommy Fury, he ain't fought no one to be hit in the head. Tommy Fury's, at least Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's been down like six times in his career. John Fury, fucking hell, trust me, John John Fury's been damn bad as well. Yeah, who was it? The Black Skellington, I've got his name now, but his name's the Black Skellington. The Black Skellington sent Fury to Mars, sorry, John to Mars. And the other one, Ross Garber, Ross Garber, Team Lightskin, 100%. So, John has an excuse, Tyson has an excuse, yeah? Both of them, even when Fury got up in the first fight, he was halfway to Mars. 
Yeah, that's just a fact. He was halfway there. And then whatever brought him back. So maybe they lost... Well, no. Fury, yeah, but Fury's been bugging before that. Before Fury got comatosed. Yeah? He was already bugging. So scrap that. Either way, they've they've all got something wrong with their head. Completely, <laughs> completely delusional. Completely messy as well. It's wild. But I do think it's not just... What's the, what's the word? They don't just have a, f- a physical brain thing going on. It's also the times we live in. Yeah? You guarantee all these guys... Arse lickers. Arse lickers. Just licking their ass, blowing smoke all the way up there. Yeah? Blowing it. Because if you had people who was based around you... Or not even based, but people who were solid... Not even solid, but... If you had people who were keeping your toes on, on the ground... I mean, you could argue, well, why be? Well, what if you was around free? What would you tell him? Probably nothing. Probably lick his ass. <laughs> Hang on. Do you know what I mean? When then was there, so I, I'm not. Saying, <laughs> I'm not saying. I don't know what the truth is, man. If I come on in and told you I had the answer, I probably wouldn't be in the basement. I ain't got the answers, man. But this is messy for sure. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel there's a time to lick ass, yeah. The people around Tyson. That's the thing. The people licking Tyson Fury's ass. The people licking Tommy Fury's ass. The people licking. John, well, I don't know what John doing. John just, I don't know what, yeah. Forget John. Tommy Fury and Tyson Fury. The people licking their ass, they've got an excuse for it. Yeah, no doubt most of them are down bad. They're trying to get on. That's their come up. Do you know what I mean? Licking Tommy Fury's ass is how you get on. Licking Tyson Fury's ass is how you get on. What's that guy, that little one called? Isaac. Isaac something around Tyson. Come on now. He, do you know what I mean? That He gets put on by Tyson. Bottom line. Yeah. Isaac. In fact, classic. It's even here, look. This show, and this shows you... The arse licking that's going on. Isaac Lowe. Isaac Lowe's been smoked a whole bunch of times. But his... How he stays relevant or gets paid is by Tyson Fury's undercards. This is a classic here, look. Tyson Fury is putting a court... He's saying, oh, I've got a big fight coming soon. And he tags Isaac Lowe. What's the relevance of that? Isaac Lowe is round Tyson. This is what you call... Um, kind of like social validation. So no doubt Isaac's been... Licking ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tyson, put it out... Because why else would he be in there? It's not like, who's Isaac Lowe? No one knows. Yeah? That's the, this is classic. Uh, not a symptom. This is what people do whenever their ass licked. If someone licks my ass, yeah, I'll tag him. 100%. He, he stay licking my ass. Let me give him some clout. <laughs> That's what this was. 100%. Isaac Lowe stay licking my ass, so I'm going to give him some clout. Call me a liar. Yeah? No good tagging Isaac Lowe. Tag who you're fighting. Tag who the big announcement is. And what I don't like about this is the fact that it never leads nowhere, yeah? And I'm going to show you, oh, YB hating, YB stay hating. Oops. A big oops, a big oops and oopsie coming in a second, yeah? i got a big announcement. And think about it. If Tyson Fury, I can debunk this now. There's no big announcement coming. Guess why? If a big announcement, just think about it for yourself. Big companies, like Apple or whatever, when they've got a big product coming, yeah, it's all super secret. Yes, there are leaks, but this ain't a leak, is it? But... Or well, sometimes there's leaks. But big companies, when they've got big things coming, you don't want to blow your load. I remember Dana White, or a key reason, allegedly, Dana White and Ariel Helwani fell out was because Ariel got some information of, I think it was UFC 200 or one of them ones, or one of the big ones, UFC 100. And Ariel put it out, and Dana was like, you're killing, you know what I mean? We want to officially announce it. Point? Well... If Tyson Fury had something big coming in next... Think about it. This guy don't need to be on social media. Or he can be, but not talk about his fight coming up. So, the point is, if Tyson Fury had something big to drop, yeah, you'd just wait until it was dropping, wouldn't you? Why would you need to... Oh, a big thing coming soon. Just wait for the big thing to come. There's nothing coming, people. It's fresh air. And here's the evidence. Here's the evidence. Document number two. Yeah, here's exhibit number two. Some massive, massive news coming. An imminent fight date. <laughs> An absolutely monstrous fight. Keep tuned. Oh, the WBC stop it, world heavyweight king is back in action. Oh my god. Coming stop. very, very soon. Stop. This is mad pe- people. When I show you the oopsie doopsie in a second, yeah, you won't believe it. In fact, let me show you the oopsie doopsie now. Here's a big oopsie doopsie, yeah? 100%. This video. Believe it or not, came out in April. Oh, YB, why are you showing us things from four months ago? Listen, 
This one, today's one, is brand spanking new, two, three days old, max. Yeah, this one is I almost the verbiage is almost identical. Let's, you know what? Let's do a analysis here. Let's listen. Whoops. Very very soon. Open to announce a big fight very very soon. Stay tuned. to working hard. I'm in the gym. Summertime ready. Getting them abs out or flabs, shall I say, for me. But then again, it, it helped me 33 times in a row, so that don't really matter. Um, stay tuned. Big news imminent. Big news imminent. Did he mention WBC? Open to announce a big fight very, very soon. Stay tuned. I'm working hard. I'm in the gym, me. But then again, it... No, it's too busy sniffing, but either way, I mean, you've heard it now, 100%. Some massive, massive news coming. An imminent fight date. <laughs> imminent. An absolutely monstrous fight. Keep tuned. Because the oh. WBC World Heavyweight King is back in action. Coming very, very soon. Peace out. So, people, listen. In April 20th, he told us big, massive, imminent news. Absolutely colossal. He's sounding like Trump out here. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely colossal, expeditious. All this kind of... All these random words. Normally, yeah... Trump is a fluffer, bottom line. Oops, I said it. Trump's a fluffer. He didn't do nothing. Yeah, he paid. Um, Fury, a fluffer. Yeah, again. When you got, if you've got something massive, it's a bit like I don't know. Maybe I'm using a bad analogy here. Yeah. Usually, if you've got a monster in your pants, yeah. If you look, if you got the mon monster, like Gig said, hundred percent. Listen, one more time. If you have the mon monster, like Gig said. More time, them Donnies. Yeah, they don't get me wrong. I've met a few Donnies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the monster, and they kind of let. They're a lot more liberal. And, you know what I mean? Like them ones. Everyone knows. Like, for example, if you go to the gym, yeah, and certain man who know they got the monster, they kind of let it all hang out in it. Obviously, if you've got the baby thing like the YB, then you kind of more. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're more conservative, but the, the monster don't let it hang out. However, um, in language terms, dudes who have a big twang, yeah. They don't need to publicise it. They just they they call it big dick energy, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? If you've got big dick energy, then that's what it is. You don't need to really. But a lot of the dons who talk about their thing, they got the baby dick. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So why be why are you talking about phallus all the time? Listen, if you've got to sit there saying, oh, I've got something massive in my pants slash I've got a massive fight coming soon, yeah. Lead, lead with lead with the energy. Big dick energy in this situation would be, boom. I'm fighting you sick fifty fifty, yeah. Tell you or not even necessarily it's signed. You sick. I thought about things, yeah. I got the mon monster in my pants, yeah. The mon monster gassing me up right now, and on that basis, this big dick energy I got, fifty fifty. 50 50 and you get a rematch because i want to punch i'm so i'm so desperate i'm going to make that gap in your teeth even wider 100 percent. you know what i mean that one that for me would be like wow yeah i'll be saying damn i need to see what fury grown in his pants because something there that weren't there before yeah that's that bd yeah he ain't got that one it's a waffle this is baby dick energy 100 percent. ah expeditious what do you say one more time one more time but then again, open to announce a big fight very, very soon. Stay tuned to working hard. I'm in the gym. Summertime ready. Getting them abs out or flabs, shall I say, for me. But then again, it, it helped me 33 times in a row, so that don't really matter. Um, stay tuned. Big news imminent. Yeah, it, it, listen, he capping. How about that? Yeah. Scrap everything else. He capping. Big cap. How about that? There's nothing imminent coming. There's nothing big coming either. In fact, I've got another video coming soon. This guy, this clown ball, this cornball today, apparently he's looking at a John Jones deal, two fight deal. I mean, again, I said before. Open to announce a big fight very. Go and beat you, sick. I mean, really, that's all that's. Who else, is, who else is around? AJ's finished. Dillian White finished. Zhang. Yeah, no, a tell lie. There's two things he needs to do. I need to see Fury beat you, sick twice. I need to see Fury beat the win winner of Joyce and Zhang. And then, which really would only take 18 months. 
And he's already been sitting around for two years. So, you know what I'm saying? So don't be telling me, oh, I'm like the greats because I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. All due respect, the greats hung around at the top of the game. You know, especially, like, obviously, people like James Tony and that, I think they were fighting until like 50 odd, but, or, and Roy Jones. But even then, Roy Jones got knocked out by that guy who went on oh, to become to announce a, a big fight very, very. Who went on to become a world champion. That Joe, Joe Putt, Joe Smith, Joe Smith Jr. That's how much, that's how much Roy Jones wanted it. Roy Jones was not just finished. I mean, he, he's been finished since Calzaghe at 38. Do you understand that, people? He's been finished. But he loved the game so much. He going in there with young future world champions, 20 years, literally 20 years. I think Joe Smith Jr. was 20 years younger than Roy Jones. That's what I call, I love the game too much. Can't help myself. And yeah, it's not ideal, but I respect that. You know what I mean? That's loving the game. You love the game so much that you've given it everything. Even like James Tony. He can barely speak, but he loved the game. Do you know what I mean? That's end shiver down my spine. Seeing a man love something so much that he given his last brain cell for it. What, what can you do but respect that? This cornball putting himself in the same. Even Ali as well. Ali was Ali had Ali was beyond finished. He was ill. Literally, what they call it? Was it Alzheimer's? I'm not sure. Whatever he had, he, he had it. You could tell he's in the ring like uh, he loved the game till the wheels fall off. Salute that. These cornballs today, they want something for nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm like the greats. You know, <laughs> you're fighting bums. And again, Fury ain't fighting bums. And we can sit here and say, well, man, listen, he finished. And he looks ill. Fury's on, at the peak of his game, more or less. Give or take, whatever. Yeah? At the peak of his game, and he's fighting the, more or less the worst competition possible. He's literally having to break the rules. The WBC rules don't allow him to fight anyone out of the top 10, really. Bottom line. So, he fought in Chisora number 21 or something, 22, whatever it was. Yeah, that's not nothing great about that. Anyway. Uh, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, and lack off the bell 100%. No doubt about this one.